CEO pushed me to get into the bathroom. Hi. So I 23M work in a small financial software company of about 100 employees as a junior developer. In our office level of about 20 people, including the CEO and two managers, there are four individual bathroom doors, three have a toilet and sink each, and the far right one has a urinal and sink. Our CEO late 50s M usually likes using the urinal one. Now today as I was walking past the bathroom with a colleague I decided to use the bathroom urinal stall. They were all empty at the time. As I was pushing the door open to go in, the CEO fast walks around the corner and puts his hand on my chest, pushes me back a bit and says that I should use one of the other three bathrooms since I'm younger. He proceeds to walk past me into the urinal bathroom and use it. My colleague witnessed it all and we were both stunned. Right now I'm kind of lost of what to do. Edit as an add-on in case the tag has disappeared this is based in South Africa. So yes, race does play a role in me not trusting HR to do something. Many entitled rich twats are the worst they literally feel they are on another plane of existence because they have money. It's so gross and all. I will ask the question. Did you want to be touched by the CEO? Make sure you document the incident and all who witnessed it. Well it's shitty and disrespectful breaking the unwritten rules of the public restroom as used by males and understood at an instinctual level. However there isn't much you can do other than abide and await an opportunity for revenge. After all the fucker broke the rules and that demands retribution cause rules are rules. So you are saying the CEO touched you in an unwanted way in the bathroom? Hello, our question mark. Spray some of that hydrophobic chemical in the urinal so that next time he uses it it splashes back. And he basically pees on himself. Put a sign on the door that says CEO's first name, S private bathroom. This was the perfect opportunity to pee on his shoe to assert dominance. You missed it and he'll never respect you now. Sounds like a great opportunity to coin a new unflattering nickname. Bathroom Stalin. Impatient pisser. Pissy pusher. Mr. Urinal. Nickname game is off this morning. I'm sure someone can do better. Sounds about right. CEO. One thing I learned from working is that when you are pushed by someone higher on the corporate ladder, you should flop. Go down fast and hard. It will draw attention to the douche and make it impossible to deny. If and how badly you are hurt will be up to you. Shit on his chest. HR isn't your friend. Time to find a new job. Don't bother with a two-week notice. On your last day drop a urine-soaked resignation letter on his desk. Not sure how it works there but here if a rich person pushes you. You fall down and wait for the ambulance and the lawyer then you retire on your own island. Avoid the CEO. He's a psychopath. Which isn't too surprising. Given the statistics, I don't know if this is rooted in his racism, but there's no reason to care. It will only make you feel worse and whatever is in his head is a morass of ego and nastiness and sludge. If you can make it through a couple of years there and avoid him completely, take your experience and work somewhere else. If you really can't stand to look at him after this, start applying now. And there's always going to be an asshole at work. This is a man who deserves to have his desk pissed on when you resign. A literal pissing hierarchy. Bev sues because they're narcissistic selfish pieces of shit that think they're better than you. If the CEO ever pushes you again you need to make sure you fall like a sports player and hit yourself on something. Dude sounds like he has a weak bladder and it was an emergency. Maybe prostate problems or just a sociopathic CEO type?
It's assault. It's as simple as that. Which ass hat down voted it? Undo your zip. Take a piss and shake twice. That just horrible WTF. No one should physically move your person. I understand why you don't feel safe reporting it. Hopefully you can find a better different job. It sounds like maybe he was trying to be funny. Should have just punched him. The second his hands touched you. You should have shoved the fuck out of him as hard as you could. Nobody has the right to touch anybody. Fuck the CEO. Bruh. They might have a medical condition. No one is talking about how it could have been an emergency or IBS type situation. I mean the CEO could just be a douche. But maybe it isn't best to assume man shrugging. I feel like this subreddit is more and more disconnected from reality and most of it is simply bullshit. CEO pushed me into the bathroom alright we're done here with this sub. If he put his hands on you, that's assaulted, period. ID log the incident. And make sure to have a paper trail of evidence. That is assault. You can escalate it if you want. If they retaliate then I'm sure any labor attorney would love to get you a few years salary. CEO is in his 50s. The urge to go hits differently then. The guy might be a dick. Or literally just didn't want to piss his pants. As a man closing in on 50 faster than I want to admit I for sure have pushed a coworker out of the way to get to the bathroom. Now I'm not a CEO. And if you're really upset please go to HR that's what they are there for. But please give us old men a little break. No one wants to be CEO piss pants for the rest of their career. Do nothing, you weren't harmed and he is your boss. If it really bothers you, get a new job. Your CEO will never respect you. He's shown you who he is. So you need to believe him. Get out of there ASAP and find something where you will be treated as an equal rather than inferior. If he's done it once, he'll do it again and it may be even more blatant and prejudicial than you've already experienced. And no one from the company who can do anything about anything will help or side with you. Forget about it and move on. Every little rude interaction with other humans does not require a SWAT team response. Demand for their head on a platter. Or the Reddit favorite. Get a lawyer. Maybe he has the shits and your younger bowels are stronger. Sounds like you need to wear a hidden body cam. Good thing it wasn't me got a wee bit of a temper when people lay hands on me. Ignore it because at best he was rude. There's nothing you can do about that legitimately in regard to reporting something. These dudes that are 50 love throwing their weight around. I hate having old bosses because of shit like this. You mentioned that you are a black person. Has the CEO ever enforced this policy to a white person? If not, consider EEO. That's assault. Could be a prostate emergency, but still rude AF. Need a plaque for that stall door proclaiming it Mr. Woozy What's its office. Set his sports car on fire and tell the guy to eat shit next time you see him. This sounds like racism. And I know you said you are in South Africa. I am sorry you are dealing with this. I hope you can find another job quickly. Because disregard of your personal body autonomy is the very lowest of the low of behaviors. He is trash. Seems like touch me again and see what happens would be appropriate here. See Sweet pulling a classic power move LMFAO. You just got flexed on. Document it. File a report with HR now if you want to lose your job. Document multiple instances of being touched or harassed inappropriately. And then something could happen. Potentially a lawsuit. Either way, most companies won't care. You'll be thrown out for not being a fit for the work culture. The answer is violence.